Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create a dynamic wallpaper app. Here, you can get lots of wallpaper and you can select any one of them to set as your existing wallpaper for your device. So, let's see how this app works. So, here you can see this is showing my existing wallpaper. And now when I select any wallpaper, from this grid for example if i choose this wallpaper and now when i click on set wallpaper it shows me a message that the wallpaper is set and now let's check so here you can see the wallpaper is changed and now let me go to the companion app again and here if i click on clear wallpaper it will clear the wallpaper it shows a message and now if I click on show existing wallpaper it will show the previous wallpaper which was there inbuilt in this device so it has cleared all the wallpaper so this is how the app works and if you want you can also add more images to your app and you can also change the images as per your needs so let's see how to create this app so for creating this app, we will be using Cordula site because Cordula has a component named wallpaper and this will help us in creating the live wallpaper app. So I am going to start with new project with the name dynamic wallpaper. Just click on finish and it will generate a new project for you. And the project is created. So now let's start uh, designing this app. So we'll go to screen one and first of all what we'll do is we'll change the title to dynamic wallpaper. Now we need some layouts for our app. So we'll just go to general and we are going to drag with horizontal arrangement and we will drag one grid view next we need one vertical arrangement just ch uh, change the horizontal arrangement fit to fill parent and drag another vertical arrangement in this horizontal arrangement so basically we are using two vertical arrangements in one horizontal arrangement now just set the horizontal arrangement height to 50% set vertical arrangement 1 height to 50% and width to 50% same goes with the second vertical arrangement now put a user interface and drag an image component on the first vertical arrangement and set the height and width to 50%. Now, uh, check this scale picture to fit. Now, we will drag one label on the second vertical arrangement and just change the text to your existing wallpaper. And just enter. Now change the font size to 18. Font should be bold. Font typeface keep it as self. Text alignment should be center and change the width to fill parent. Make the font size 20 so it will look good. Now go to layout, shundle and just drag one space component and make the height as 10 or just make it 5 pixels. Now go to user interface and we will need one button. And 
Just click on the space one. Use the shortcut keys Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate the same space component. Or you can also use the shortcut key Ctrl V. So this will also generate a duplicate version of the component. Now I just click on Ctrl T and so in the first button I'll change the font size to 18 font type face will be serif text will be clear wallpaper and go to vertical arrangement tool and align horizontally and vertically center same goes with the first vertical arrangement align it to center and align the horizontal arrangement also to center now take a vertical scroll arrangement and just insert the image grid view inside the vertical scroll arrangement and just set it height and width to fill parent now we will change the second button properties also Now we will just control D and the duplicate version of the button is created and just change the text to show existing. Now we will change the background color of the arrangements. So here I have already taken the color codes. So I'll just copy this first color code and I will set vertical arrangement to color to this. Now I'll change the label text color to white and just change the buttons the color of the buttons so I have changed the background color of the buttons as well and now I will change the color of the vertical scroll arrangement And I'll just set this color. Now we are done with the design part. And now we'll move to the code part. But before that I'll just rename some components. So that it will be convenient for me. To do the coding part. And most importantly. We need the wallpaper component. So we'll just go on the search bar. And we'll just search for wallpaper. And we'll just drag it on the screen. We will also require one snack bar component so that we can show a message whenever the wallpaper is set or whenever we have cleared the wallpaper. So I'll just type here snack bar and I'll drag this component on the screen. Now go to the block section. Now we'll start coding. And before coding, we need to upload the assets we need to upload all the images uh, the wallpaper basically you need to upload all those images here so that those images can be viewed on the mobile app so i'll upload the assets So the image is uploaded and similarly I have chosen 12 images 
which I'll upload and I've also given the zip link of the zip file in the description below so that you can download it if you want. So I have successfully uploaded all the images and now I will start coding. So first of all I will just create a global variable that is wallpaper and I will make a list I will add more items to it we need total 12 items now I will add the name of the images so I have saved it in a simpler manner that is 1.jpg similarly 2.jpg and so on once this is done we have to code for the buttons so whenever someone clicks on clear button that is button 1 then we have to call the wallpaper component and we have to clear the wallpaper any existing wallpaper whichever is there on the mobile it will clear that wallpaper now so when someone clicks on the set wallpaper button then we have to call wallpaper 1 and we have to set wallpaper image now the image we will look to that later and if someone clicks on show existing wallpaper then we have to call the get wallpaper function over here and whenever we got the wallpaper, whichever existing wallpaper is there on our device, then we have to set image one dot picture to get picture. Now, if screen one is initialized. Then we have to call the grid view and we have to set the elements to we'll go to this wallpaper and get wallpaper. So whichever options uh, we have chosen, whatever assets we have chosen, all those will be shown as the uh, available wallpaper. Now whenever set wallpaper is clicked Now if someone clicks on grid view after picking So when we choose any image from the grid view Then we have to set image1 dot picture To that image which is chosen by the user And we will set the wallpaper image like whenever uh, the wallpaper button is set, set wallpaper button is pressed, then we have to set it to image one dot picture. We will also add, uh, we will also call the snack bar to show the message. So I call snack bar show message whenever we have set the wallpaper. And that message will be the wallpaper has been set. Similarly, I'll show this message whenever I have cleared the wallpaper. So the wallpaper has been cleared. And here Whenever screen one is initialized, we also have to call call wallpaper one dot get wallpaper. And one more important thing that go to grid view and you have to set the number of columns, how many columns you want. So here I am choosing three. So this is how you can create a dynamic wallpaper app. So I hope you learned something new in today's video. 
If you like this video, then please like my video, subscribe my channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated with my latest videos. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me on comment. I have also given the AIA and the APK file link in the description below so that you can download it. Thank you.